In this video, I'm going to explain to you how I cultivate the crops that I have on the allotment. And uh, it may not be scientific, but it's the way I do things. I arbitrarily uh, divide the annual plants that I grow uh, into three categories. Roots, fruits and leaves. Now roots would be things like potatoes, carrots and parsnips. Uh, fruits would be maize, sweet corn, or uh, beans, or courgettes, or squash in general. And leaves would be things like broccoli, uh, chard, rocket, cabbage, brassicas, and that sort of thing. Uh, then I rotate these groups around the plot and try to grow them in a different place every year, uh, coming back after three years to the original place. Uh, let me show you on the plot what I do. Uh, for the purposes of rotation, I treat the uh, plot as if it were three separate beds. One on the right, one in the middle, and one on the left. And I move my plants around between the beds uh, in groups according to where they were the previous year. Uh, I'll give you an example. Last year I grew potatoes on this side of the bed. This year I'm going to grow them on that side of the bed. Next year I'm going to grow them in the middle and then following that they'll move back to where they started. Uh, apart from that I, I feed the bed regularly uh, with compost and well rotted manure and I try to keep the weeds down. Uh, well you might ask why do I bother to rotate the crops and the, the answer is that if you grow the same plant in the same place year after year the pests and diseases that specifically attack that plant will build up in that plot so that uh, eventually the crop will fail. If you move them around you give the land a chance to recover and the pests of those specific plants die out. Uh, now this bed is a little bit different. Uh, these are perennial plants, globe artichokes and rhubarb. And perennial means they come up in the same place every year. They persist and they're a little bit tougher than uh, annual plants and so they need a slightly different type of cultivation. I try to keep the, the weeds down around them for two reasons. Firstly they rob the nutrients from the soil and deprive the plants I want to encourage and, and secondly they provide a pathway for the pests and diseases to get to those plants. I mean, slugs, for example, would much rather travel across a nice bed of green weeds than uh, travel across an open bed. Uh, at some, some point in the year, preferably the spring, I spread some compost, well-rotted manure, uh, around the plants uh, to feed the soil and to improve the structure of the soil. The bushes and fruit trees that I have, I cultivate in a similar way. I try with varying degrees of success to keep the weeds away from the base of the plants and then I give them a, a feed of uh, well rotted manure, preferably horse or chicken and sometimes I give them some compost as well so I mulch down around the plants with uh, with this stuff. Over the past three weeks I have turned out one of these short videos almost every day and I've enjoyed doing it but frankly I can't keep that up so what I propose to do from now on is post at least once a week uh, what to document what's happening on my allotment and as ideas occur to me, I shall make short videos and post them in between. So keep watching. 